the Bible is not my book nor Christianity my profession. I could never give assent to the long, complicated statements of Christian dogma. That some achieve great success, is proof to all that others can achieve it as well. I know not how to aid you, save in the assurance of one of mature age, and much severe experience, that you cannot fail, if you resolutely determine, that you will not. I can see how it might be possible for a man to look down upon the earth and be an atheist, but I cannot conceive how a man could look up into the heavens and say there is no God. Upon this subject of education, not presuming to dictate any plan or system respecting it, I can only say that I view it as the most important subject which we as a people can be engaged in. When I do good, I feel good. When I do bad, I feel bad. That's my religion. The greatest fine art of the future will be the making of a comfortable living from a small piece of land. What is to be, will be, and no prayers of ours can arrest the decree. January 26, 1863 And now beware of rashness, beware of rashness, but with energy and sleepless vigilance go forward and give us victories. Women are the only people I am afraid of who I never thought would hurt me. The will of God prevails. In great contests each party claims to act in accordance with the will of God. Both may be, and one must be, wrong. God cannot be for and against the same thing at the same time. In the present civil war it is quite possible that God's purpose is something different from the purpose of either party, and yet the human instrumentalities, working just as they do, are of the best adaption to effect his purpose. I am almost ready to say that this is probably true, that God wills this contest, and wills that it shall not end yet. By his mere great power, on the minds, of the now contestants, he could have either saved or destroyed the Union without human contest. Yet the contest began, and, having begun he could give their final victory to either side any day, yet the contest proceeds 